Sherlin Bansy. Hi Chuckies, Sherlin Bansy. This episode is a question what's asked by a bunch of people ever since I did my YouTube about how I met Terry and what the question is, did you ever have drama with Terry's family? And the answer is yes, I did have drama. I'll start from the beginning. So Terry got me pregnant. I just broke up with my fiancé, Graham. And now I'm in this weird position, pregnant to a bloke who I don't even know. And I said, I'm not that kind of girl. So you'll have to take me out on a few dates if you want to stick around and be the father of my child. And he said, that's fine. You know, we went on a few dates. We went to the pictures a few times. We went to the lake and did some skinny dipping. Get up to a bit of naughties on the rocks. Day. He took me to a few parties. I met some more of his friends and whatnot. No more crazy stuff at these parties because we know where that gets you. <laughs> anyway, so eventually I'm like, when are you going to tell your family about us? They don't even know we're together, let alone pregnant. And he said, I want to wait until my 18th birthday. And I said, that's only a few months away. That's fine. I can do that for you. I know it's hard for him. He's 17 and his missus is 26, you know. I'm sure any parents would hit the roof if their son had a much older girlfriend. But anyway, his 18th birthday comes and he brings me around and he said to his family, he said, I want to let you all know. And his mother says, do you think I'm an idiot? I just stood there, I kept my cool. And he said, what do you mean, mum? And she said, you've got this Sheila coming here every second day. And every single time I can hear all the screaming and moaning through the walls. Of course she's your bloody girlfriend. And I just went red in the face and I said, we'll try and keep it down. And she said to me, zip it, you. All right, I'll keep me cool. That's fine. And I said, all right, mum, tell me this. Did you know I'm pregnant with his child? So I said, that's right. You're going to be a grandmother. Congratulations, Nanny. And so she stands up and she says, what a load of bullshit. Terry, get a paternity test. There's no way this trollop's carrying your child. And I said, well, if you want to go in the specifics of it, I'd be lucky if I had sex with Graham twice at the end of the relationship. And then I made love with Terry and then I was sick a few days later. So put it together, Chucky. And so she said, I don't want her in my house. If you want to be with her, you go to her house. So I said, fine, Terry, come to mine. Because I was living in a caravan park then because I had broke up with Graham and whatnot. So I was just living out of a really cheap caravan park. So he came and we had a big talk and I said, I hate to do this to you, Chucky, but you're going to have to pick. It's either me or your family. And he broke down in tears and my heart went out to him. We went back to his place and he picked up his things. I said, remember what I told you, Terry? And he said, ah. And he went back and he said, I told him to say this. He said, you can all get fucked. You are all dead to me. I don't want to know you. If you have any big special news, I don't want to know. And then we left. So then years go by, he hasn't seen him. They tried to contact him a few times, but he gave him the flick. And then we get this phone call from his brother, Jeff, saying that his mum's died. So Terry breaks down and I said, remember what we said? They're dead to you anyway, so don't even worry about it. So apparently Jeff says, you know, for the mother's funeral, all the boys, Terry and Jeff and the other brothers are going to carry the coffin into the chapel. And I said, no, Chucky, there's no coffin, there's no chapel. You wiped your hands clean of them, so you should not go to this funeral. And eventually I got through to him. So then a few days later, Jeff rings me up. And he's calling me a manipulative slag. I'm just trying to brainwash Terry and I've done it for years. And it's all going to catch up to me and I won't get away with it. And I said, listen here, dickwit. No one loves your brother more than me. You all walked all over him for years. He's insecure. He has all these emotional problems. And it's all your family's fault. So don't come to me and say oh, I manipulated him and oh, I brainwashed him. You lot are the ones who turned him into the weak piece of shit he is today. So don't bring that shit to me. And I hung up and I said, Terry, don't you dare go to that funeral. Let's do something special that day. Let's go to gossip. You know, let's go explore and let's do something just for us, you know. And so he wiped his eyes and he said, yeah, that's good, Chuck. Let's do that. A few weeks passed after the funeral and I still had the shits. And I said, Tez, you know what that bastard said to me? And he said, who? And I said, Jeff, you know what he said to me in that phone call? He said, I manipulate you and I brainwash you. And I want him to pay. Because if that was my sister saying that to him, I'd go and I'd wipe her out. So I said, Tez, go and teach him a lesson, please. 
I want you to deck him. So Terry went to the industrial area where Jeff used to work and he went to the front office and told the receptionist to let Jeff know that his brother Terry's waiting outside. Jeff walks out, goes to give Terry a hug and Terry just gave him a cracker of a hit right on the jaw and then he punched him a few more times when he's down and he said, don't hit me while I'm down, you dog. Don't hit me while I'm down. And he said to him, he goes, the next time you talk to my wife like that, you won't breathe another breath after what I do to you. So he came home and he told me what happened and I said, you're my hero, Chuck. I love you. Thanks for doing that. And so that was the last we heard of him. And I think, good riddance, you know. One down, three more to go. Piss the brothers off as well. I'm sick of the lot of them. Anyway, Chookies, let's leave it at that. Add me on my Facebook site, www.facebook.com slash Sherilyn Barnes AU for Australia. Add me on my Twit site, and that is at Sherilyn Barnes. Hashtag blood stick of the mortar. Who cares? And add me on my Instagram site as well, and that is at Sherilyn Barnes. And make sure you click subscribe because then you'll see all the other YouTubes, what I've got as well. All right, Chookies, let's leave it at that. Ciao for now, Chookies.